Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 15th of December. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director of Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have Wes Farmers, NRW Holdings, Bowen Coal, Poseidon Nickel and GR Engineering. So if you have a request, please send it through. Make sure you've signed up to the free newsletter, but my stock tips come out in the Dynamic Investor Report, which is every Tuesday. So make sure you've subscribed to that report. But if you do enjoy these videos, we'd love you to share them on social media or even leave us a review. My main business is on the portfolio management side. So if you'd like to have a trading account with me and have me directly tell you what I think you should be buying and selling, then please let me know. And the advice here is general only. So a daily chart here of West Farmers. Um, if we zoom in, we could see on a positive note, it's put in a, um, a higher low in September. It's rallied back up to that, that August peak. Naturally, it's found a bit of selling, but it hasn't, it hasn't been sold off heavily. Um, and that's a positive sign. So what we're seeing is just a, a slight sort of cooling off here. And it is starting to, to round out now. So it almost looks like it's a, um, a buying opportunity. If we've got this as a little flag, it's potentially breaking out. Um, ultimately, you could use uh, the stock moving beyond this high as, um, as the buy trigger, but I think this is looking pretty good. Um, NWH. Um, so most recently, we had this, this sort of sharp decline in September, um, and then it rebounded, but because this was quite sharp, I guess it needed to use a bit of time to um, to consolidate. So it, it sort of went sideways for a bit and put in a bit of a sort of based for a bit. Had a little breakout here. Um, it's gone up to retest the September high and has come back. But again, this one's holding in. Um, and I think this one looks bullish. I think if it if it goes to a new high, that's the next buy signal. Okay, Bowen Coal, I think this one's also looking um, fairly positive. So sort of rally in November, eased back, it's put in a what looks like now a, a higher low, and then in well yesterday it's made a higher high. So you know, so far that's that's a positive sign. Um, I've noticed that it looks like this is right on a bit of a downtrend line here, depending depending if you hook up the, the intradays or not. Either way, it might just find a bit of uh, bit of resistance here. It might just stall for a moment. So I think if we just see it not get sold sharply, um, again, this could be a buying opportunity. You've got your stops under the December low, or even just wait for the breakout above um, resistance um, for a more um, you know more obvious buying opportunity. But but so far, this is starting to look good. Okay, Poseidon Nickel. So if I zoom out. We could see it's just it's just in a downtrend. Um, if we try to look a bit closer, do I see anything that suggests it's a buy? No, I mean it's it's still just just heading lower. There's no signs of that downtrend stopping. Um, we had the July low near four cents. It's broken under that. Um, I guess if in the next day or two it could quickly get back above four cents on big volume, then then you could say, okay, well, that maybe that's a false break, but it's been under four cents for a while. There's there's a bit of volume coming in, so I think the um, I think we're most likely going to see lower levels. Okay, and G and G. So you know, we had this move here, and then this sort of gap down, closing near the lows. That was obviously a big negative in September. Couldn't make much progress. Another big move down in November. So a couple of big. Sort of sell signals or warning signs there. I mean, it's it's sort of holding in for now. It's going sideways. It hasn't it hasn't gotten worse, but you know we've got this this sort of old support level. So it's it's retesting the underneath of that support level. So it could go either way. You know, it breaks above that line, that's good, or it could fail. And just looking at the most recent candles, we could see that sort of over the past week, it is closing on its lows. So. I'm slightly tilting towards more downside risk, um, but yeah, you can't you can't get interested in this until it gets back above that line. 
Okay, well that's all for this week. If you have a request, send it through. We'll try to cover it next Thursday.